This is a great day for the Terra Classic community. We've obviously been able to sit and watch this regrowth happen, things put in place to push us further and further into rebuilding what once was. And today, something really exciting was announced. So Terra C. Vita obviously created that proposal to build out a decentralized exchange that was approved. Awesome, right? Well, today they announced that they've actually raised $1 million in funding for the project of Terraport, which includes this exchange. This is really, really exciting to see. This is actually all done through the uh, private sale for this DeFi plat platform. I'm guessing there's probably going to be some token allocation. I didn't pay attention to it, but just know this is completed. Now they can continue or start building this out. Now keep in mind, okay, this decentralized exchange is still supposed to launch early in quarter one of 2023, which we are now in. We now exist in this time, right? This I have always thought was a great idea, okay? An exchange would do a great job burning LUNC, okay? They actually dubbed it a furnace, okay? It's a furnace. It's going to incinerate coins. Now, this all is still occurring while there's still some, some pushback on the Terra Rebels, the main development team that oversees um, the Terra Classic chain, okay? They've, they're obviously under some controversy with the misuse of $150,000 of allocated funds. But right now we're at a point where decentralization and community governance is huge in Terra Classic. Okay, it is the driving force behind the chain. And with community contributing or continuing to contribute and uh, independent development teams like Terra C, Vita continuing to build out, it is going to continue to push Terra Classic further down the road. It's very exciting to see. Now keep in mind, okay, Terra Classic still has a long way to go, all right? Obviously the burning of coins is going to be a great thing, but there's gonna be a lot of the crypto community that is still hesitant to get involved with Terra Classic. And that just simply is because of the connection that you know still resides between the old Terra Luna and Terra Classic, okay? It's probably simply because of the name, right? If, a, if there was a different name, people probably wouldn't, wouldn't even notice. But keep in mind, this is still there. It's going to hold some people back for a while. It's going to pre prevent, you know, this, this huge booming growth in, in a very quick manner. Okay. It's going to take some time for this recovery to happen. So don't be surprised if these great things keep happening, but you don't see this, this explosive growth that you may see. Now the bull markets are that you would normally see. Now the bull market cycle could bring huge adoption. There's new crypto or new users that'll be coming into crypto. Man, I'm having problems talking to guy talking today, guys. I apologize. But there will be new users that come into crypto that may not know the history behind Terra Classic, that may not know what happened in the past. And sometimes that could be a good thing, right? Because right now the way Terra Classic exists is not what Terra Luna was. There's not the association to Terraform Labs, there's not the association to Doquan anymore. It stands as its own independent thing. And that is where you could really start to see some growth happening with Terra Classic. But as always, I appreciate you guys stopping in. Just wanted to keep you updated on this awesome news. This is a great step in the right direction. As always, this is not financial advice. Definitely do your own research before you guys do anything in crypto. I always just want to keep you guys updated and informed because then again, that way you can keep luck on your side just like me. Hope you guys have a great day, and I really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.